Hi guys, so um, welcome to the first episode of what will eventually be a vlog about our holiday to Florida in August. And I just thought, considering it's two months, basically to the day, till we go, I decided to start Disney vlog now. So I haven't decided a title, like a name for it. So probably like Six Lands or something, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be like Six Lands because Magic Kingdom has Six Lands or whatever. Basically, if you've watched my brother's videos, then obviously, twins, if you just didn't already know. So, um, I just want to start off with like a Q&A or something. So, I got my friends to ask me Disney, like different Disney questions because Disney vlog. But, <laughs> just, yeah, if you've got any more questions that I'm going to use in a future video, comments. Leave them there. So let's start with the first one. The first question comes from my friend Aaron. He's asked me, I keep talking my hands a lot, sorry. Uh, he's asked me, what's your favorite Disney film? Well, I've got a lot. It's like a top three that they're constantly shifting, depends on my mood. Uh, it's Beauty and the Beast, Lion King, and Big Hero 6, because it kind of painted depression in a different way than like, to a way that I didn't think they could do in a Disney film. Like, it was surprisingly accurate. And, um, so yeah, those top three, depends on my mood. And yeah, uh, he also asked, hold on. Just got my thing here. He also asked, uh, what's my favorite Disney quote? Um, not a conventional Disney quote, but, um, it was, it's from by A.A. Milne in Winnie the Pooh. It was, um, how lucky am I to have something, how lucky am I to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard? It just, it really resonates with me for a few reasons and yeah, love that quote. Um, he also said, it was like a favourite, like favourite everything basically. So um, favourite villain, Scar, because he gets what he wants and he's charismatic, he has a Bloody brilliant song, I mean, Be Prepared is cracking. And then in the musical, like the stage version, there was The Madness of King Scar, which, like, elevated that to a higher extent. Like, yeah, he's my favourite, he, he gets what he wants. Actually, also, Claude Frollo, because he's like, he's not, he hasn't got special powers. He is just a normal human being, and he is evil. He is one of the vilest people Disney's created. The way, like, he believes what he's doing is right for, like, his religion and Christianity, but it's just, it gets so distorted in hellfire. Literally, it gave me nightmares as a kid because of that, because of how evil Claude Frollo is. And it just, Hunchback, underrated. My friend Megan, who I'll mention later, she'll agree with that. Hunchback is just one of the most underrated animated films ever. It's so good. If you've not seen it, just go watch Hunchback and Notre Dame. I cannot stress how good that film is. Like, I know it's not one of my favourites, but it's... Just insert that emoji here. Um, my friend Tara, she she's from... I don't get this wrong. Michigan? It's on shit like a glove, that's all I know. It's Michigan. Great Lakes, that sort of place. Yeah, definitely Michigan. Um, She was like, who would win the fight? Ursula or Jafar? Jafar's got the magic powers, well, mm, debatable, it's like Ursula can grow, but I don't know, it's a hard question, like, if he's got the genie then Jafar, but without it, he's not really useful, but so yeah, probably Ursula, even though on land she has to do weird shit, and yeah, probably Ursula. Bit of a weird question, but thank you. <laughs> um, what else have we got here? Uh, Disney Princess Hunger Games. Who would win? Merida. She's like the Disney version of Katniss, so Merida would probably win that. It's like none of the other princesses really do like archery and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely, definitely Merida. Um. And if I had to marry a Disney villain, who would I marry? 
all of them. <laughs> um, actually, no, none of them, because they're all nasty, spiteful human beings. Swiftly on from me, saying I want to marry every single Disney villain. Um, Liam's asked me what my least favourite Disney song is, and that is really hard, because most Disney songs are really good and Broadway-worthy, and a few of them have won Oscars. I don't know why Let Go did, but it did, because Adina Menzel, like, good voice, alright film, like, it's good, but when you hear it about two million times because your sister likes it, just, yeah, Let It Go's one of them. I, like, I enjoy it, and some of the, like, the changes in it, like, the notes and the riffs, and, yeah, they're good, but there's better songs and better Disney films, like, Tangled. I know that's gonna cause a storm, but Tangled's better than Frozen. But my least, probably my least favourite Disney film, not film, song, song, yeah, that's a different one. My least favourite Disney song, probably just around the river bend, yeah, from Pocahontas. Just because I've not really watched Pocahontas that much. Sorry, Megan. Um. It just, it doesn't do anything for me. It's it's good, and the animation's top-notch as usual for Disney, but Just Run River Bend doesn't do anything for me. It's like, everybody wants to be a cat from the Aristocats. It's just there. It's good. Just, eh, yeah. And that actually brings me to the next question. Um, from Charlie Allison from college, who asked me, "What's my, what's my favourite Disney song?" That's sort of like that, yeah. Um, this so the opening Beauty and the Beast. It's great, and the reprise is great, and Pedro Hara, her voice just makes that song, and it just it draws you in to this provincial town, and then what do you know she. It, it foreshadows everything. Daring sword fights, far off places, magic spells, a print in disguise. That is the entire film summed up in that one line. So, for me, Little Town Bell, whatever you want to call it, just, it's, it's great. It's a great song. It's a great, it's Broadway worthy. And that's why I can't wait for the live action film because Emma Watson's going to kill that. I can just tell now. But then, there's, yeah, I just, I just love most Disney songs, so I've just got to say that one, because I love it. Now is the question from one of my very best friends, Megan, Disney bud. Um, she said, who's my favourite Disney person of colour, which most people would say Mulan, because, you know, she's a hardened warrior defies the gender boundaries and transgresses everything of that time but probably set Esmeralda because she's just very underrated like I said Hunchback is an underrated movie and Esmeralda is a very underrated Disney character and she's just great but yeah there's like loads more like yeah just Lilo in Hawaiian, it could mean generous one, but it could also mean lost, and it, she's just, Lilo's ambition is, like, even after losing a family, she's still this cheerful person, and it just, it, it, I love Lilo, I love Lilo and Stitch, it's great, um, but yeah, Esmeralda, she's a good character, it's great, um, I'm looking forward to Moana. I think she's probably going to take the top spot for favourite Disney person of colour. And yeah. So I'm, I've got high hopes for Moana because Lynn Manuel Miranda's doing some of the soundtrack for it, which is Hamilton. Just so Emily's asked me who my favourite female Disney character is who's not a princess. Probably going to say Belle just because of how inspirational she is for young people who want to go into a world of literature and reading. And she also sort of symbolises the subversion of Disney's typical tropes of how females were presented 
in the original movies, for example, Snow White, Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty, the the protagonists of them films all represented a sort of ideology of a previous era when the golden age of Disney was about and Belle symbolises that change because I know Little Mermaid was the start of the Renaissance but Belle really solidified that in that sense like she showed that subversion of like archetypes of Disney movies so that's why I love her so much because of how inspiration how inspirational she is as a character and she's hard as nails like surely she nearly gets eaten by wolves but she still helps the beast find love and she breaks the spell and I just I just love Beauty and the Beast it's my favourite Disney film can't help it it's great well, that concludes it the Q&A journey is done so if you've got any more leave them in the comments below and if you like the video click like subscribe and you'll be able to get more information about everything like I'll be posting probably once a week up until the holiday and then they'll stop and then all the vlogs will be uploaded after the holiday's done. Now I'll start uni, so I guess this is like one last one last hurrah before uni. And um the vlogs also be uploaded onto Nathan's YouTube, which is um Nathan's pretty awesome, so they'll be on there as well. And it's it'll be our one, three, five, seven, twelve, fourteen, seventh time going, so lucky number seven. And it's just going to be absolutely amazing and I can't wait to share it all with you and yeah keep all the Disney coming so bye